Hey guys, so recently I purchased my very first Polaroid camera, which is this, the can you see this? It's the SX70. Now I decided to get the SX70 because of the manual controls and the amazing lens it has. I think it's glass, and it's one of the only glass lenses on a Polaroid camera or an instant camera. And also some of the amazing colors that I've seen online that you can get out of the combination of this lens plus its film. Probably because a lot of people know that I, that I use film, I've received a lot of requests to use film on this channel. And so this is a little surprise. It's not really like film film, but yeah. So here's my first film video. And I believe that right now the Polaroid is an amazing tool to have because of especially the situation we're in right now with the COVID-19 virus is uh, we're half forced to stand aside. And also um, a lot of the film related shops and stores are closed. So um, the great thing about this is you don't have to develop the film. You just need the film and it comes out. So I thought it would be a good opportunity to take a stroll outside um, right around my neighborhood and take some pictures, hopefully nice pictures um, with this camera. Taking a stroll outside with your everyday camera, so to say, is sometimes kind of boring, especially if you're walking um, right outside places that you know of. So it's good to have something to keep uh, your perspective interesting. So using a different camera like this and using a camera that can get some funky colors like the SX70 is great. Um, so yeah, that's what we're doing today and let's go. Okay, hey guys, so now that we're in our proper hipster tire, proper hipster location, since we're shooting film, and that's what you gotta wear when you're shooting film, um, we're ready to shoot. So I chose this very strong afternoon light today because of an actual reason. With this very bright, isn't it? There we go. So I chose this setting afternoon light on purpose because considering the nature and the, uh, of Considering the nature of the SX70, where the ISO for the film is set at 160 and the aperture only goes until f8, it's not going to be very good in uh, dark situations. And I personally really love the lush colors that you get with the SX70 film. So what I'm going to do today is tone it down a bit and then go for some nice, look for some nice colors and look for some nice light and maybe some things to focus on specifically. So let's get a shooting. In order to use that 670 appropriately, this is what you do. You open the flap here, open up like this, and you just pull it, and then this lever locks here, and then you're already set to shoot. Let's go. Yeah, so the SX70 has been a very good change for me. It's, uh, I've always cared a lot about what I shoot, how I shoot it, how good the image can be. But yeah, with the SX70, it's kind of like, you just have fun with it, it's nice. Um, it's more about the story you're telling, it's more about the atmosphere um, and the environment of what you're shooting. Um, and I'm really enjoying that a lot.
guys, so we're back and before we end the video, I wanted to talk about a few things on the SX70, the camera itself. And the SX70, there's a lot of different versions of it. There's versions with uh, autofocus on it. There's uh, versions with uh, where you can mount a tripod. And uh, the one I have is the tripod mountable version. The name is, I think it's like an L. Yeah, yeah, it's called the Alpha One. Yeah, and with the with the Alpha One, you can mount a tripod on it. But um, other than that, it's pretty much uh, the same as the oldest version or the original version of the SX70. Um, and this camera is mainly uh, manual focus. And with the original SX70, what you get is a manual focusing lens. And the the thing about the lens is you can go really really close with it. You can go. I forgot the minimum focusing distance, but it's very, it's very close actually. So by being able to go really close, there's a couple interesting things you can do with it, especially if you're taking something like portraits, you can focus on someone's eye really close, for example, you can kind of use it as like a macro-ish thing and you can get a lot of uh, bokeh in the, in the picture by going really, really close. One thing to keep in mind when using the SX70 is to make sure to usually um, underexpose. And what you do here is you, there's an exposure compensation dial here and I would usually go um, on the darker end. So yeah, the reason the exposure compensation dial on the SX70 is so important is that this is actually the only thing that you can control in terms of how much light you're letting in into the photograph because ISO, well it's film, so ISO is um, the same. And the lens, again, this goes to the maximum of f8. And shutter speed is also automatically um, set here. So the, again, the only thing you can control is, the only thing that lets you gain control over that is the exposure compensation dial. And one thing about the SX70 is that it does tend to um, overexpose things. So that's why you wanna let it to the um, underexposure end of things. And it also allows you to get those very lush uh, rich colors out of the film, which uh, definitely uh, is a strength of the SX70. Another piece of advice I have for aspiring, maybe, SX70 users is to shoot in normal lighting conditions. Normal lighting conditions, as in I would generally try to avoid shooting in shadows or I try to avoid shooting in backlit scenarios. Another thing is um, I also try not to shoot in um, harsh or complicated weather because it just makes, uh, it does mess up the metering a lot. If though you're the type of person that likes the, what would you say, the Polaroid-ish look or the instant film-ish look where things might be blown out or things are kind of like faded away, then it's totally fine shooting in those conditions. But if you're the type of person like me that wants to shoot the colors um, close to reality or maybe like enhance whatever is in reality, then it, I advise you not to and sh I advise you to shoot in normal lighting conditions. Yeah, and the last thing I wanted to say was try not to shoot in, um, in cold weather or too cold weather because uh, what I had um, before was I shot in um, snow actually and I was really looking forward to the pictures but uh, yeah, the film just basically didn't develop because it was just too cold because yeah, I mean, keep in mind that this is a Polaroid still, it's, it's a Polaroid, but um, it's still film, right? And, you, and then the developing process is basically, it's a chemical process. So again, keep in mind that, um, yeah, this is a fun camera to use, but it's also, it can also be used for serious matters. Like I think uh, William Eggleston had his most recent book published called SX70, where he shot a bunch of uh, photos back in his day um, on the SX70. And that was, that was basically the book that just Came published recently. Yeah, so guys, thanks for watching this video. I know this was kind of like a quick and dirty kind of review, but I hope you enjoyed. Um, I hope it was kind of like a more of like a toned down video. Yeah, so again, thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe, please like this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.